unrelated to the investigation. Sample of no interest. It comes from one of the policemen present on the waste room. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Good chance of ever kill us. Harry Connor. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car.
Ari comment, sample of no interest, comes one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me you'd be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. And given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine-tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, it must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Think I've seen all there is to see. I 
I'm gonna leave. I see you in the office, right? Okay. See you later. A butterfly, a fox, two faces back to back, a shadow, a threatening shadow. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Have there been any cases of split personality developing after concussion? Like people doing things but having no memory of what they've done. Like somebody else had been doing them. We know that in certain cases, a violent shock to the brain can cause serious psychological disturbances, like schizophrenia, for example. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. You want to eat something? Yeah. 
how did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. <laughs>